Je hebt viral gaan en echt viral gaan. Dat laatste geldt voor het filmpje uit de uitzending van Zondag met Lubach... waar Nederland zich voorstelt aan Donald Trump. Het filmpje is inmiddels tientallen miljoenen keren bekeken. Volgens sommige bronnen zelfs 50 miljoen keer. Het is ingesproken door de comedian Greg Shapiro... en hij imiteert daarin natuurlijk de stem van Donald Trump. Greg, your voice has been heard by about... Yeah, we can applaud for that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, no. Greg, Greg, your well, voice has been heard by approximately 50 million people worldwide. Yes. How does that feel? It's, uh, well, first, like, I have to give credit to the writers from Zondag met Lubach. Of course. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, we know each other. Uh, they knew I was doing the show at Boom Chicago, and, oh, they're doing a Trump thing, so can you come in? The first idea was, let's not read it too Trumpy. Uh, and then I tried it once with, like, full on as Trump as possible, and, uh, yeah. Everyone it, cracked it, up. Yeah, that, that's probably better. So you kind of grew into it organically and decided to go full on Trump? Uh, yeah, uh, but the text was already, like, mm, mwah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, credits uh, given there. Still, when you're doing this, it's fun, it's yeah. hilarious. You never anticipate that 50 million no. people yeah. will be watching and hearing your voice, I assume. Uh, well, it's nice that my family back in America are sharing this with me. <laughs> Like, did you see this? It was on CNN. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you're mom, famous back home. That's me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really nice. And then, uh, and then they heard that I was going to be on the Jainek show. And uh, <laughs> Greg, you're officially losing. Can you like when you're the voice in your head? Like we all have this voice in our head. Does yeah. it talk Trump to you? Uh, it used to be George Bush for a while, and then Barack Obama was not so bad. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, now my kids are already. <laughs> like, Papa. Stop knocking like, yeah, it It's time to brush your teeth. Huh? It's time. It is time. You, we need to brush your teeth right now. Like, uh. Okay, Craig, you're not the only person who got famous because of this video. Wouter Dekkers, you bent the director van Pony Park Slagharen, inmiddels wereldberoemd. Hoe voelt dat? Ja, enorm, uh, enorm leuk. Uh, we hebben gigantische dagen achter, uh, achter de rug. Uh, Juist in het jaar dat we eigenlijk de laatste keer alle ponies bij onze bungalows hebben. Waar we eigenlijk de ponies dus gaan weg? Ja, de ponies gaan op een gegeven moment weg bij ons. En, uh, dus dan gebeurt dit. Dus we wisten niet wat ons uh, overkwam sinds maandag. Uh, wacht even, wacht even. Waarom, time, out. time out. Waarom gaan de ponies weg? Nou ja, we hebben eigenlijk in de laatste jaren de, de focus op, uh, op achtbanen, op de pretpark gedeelte van ons. Uh, we zijn er nieuw aan het bouwen, de Gold Rush. En dan opeens komt dit filmpje van, uh, van het team van Luba. Ja, ja, fantastisch. Uh. Maar als, als vijf, ik bedoel, dit is een reclamecampagne, daar kun je niet eens over beginnen te dromen. Dan kun je toch geen afscheid meer nemen van die ponies. Nu dat iedereen in de wereld weet dat jullie ponies hebben. Ja, en toch gaat het gebeuren. En de oplettende kijkers zullen gezien hebben dat het niet eens onze ponies zijn die in het filmpje zijn. Dat is eigenlijk de, de, de ponies van uh, Pony Park City in Colorado. Doen. Dus dat was It's eigenlijk een uh, alternative pony. Alternative pony, ja. Maar oké, okay, dit, is, dit is nog een vrij uh, normaal en nuchter antwoord wat u geeft. Maar dit is natuurlijk helemaal te gek, toch? Dit is gekke huis. Wat ja, dat hadden we niet beter kunnen verzinnen. We zijn nu dicht, het is nu onze winterpauze. En dan toch zo, uh, zoveel aandacht voor, uh, voor het attractiepark Slagaar is fantastisch. Uh. Begrijp ik, ja. Ik heb de kans dat Trump die tent wil overnemen. Dan maakt ze een okay. gouden okay. toren bij de ja. ingang. U krijgt een belletje. Trump wil op bezoek in Ponypark Slagharen. Speciale ontvangst? Ja, dan is iedereen bij ons, uh, bij ons welkom. De Gold Rush zal hij zeker aan, uh, aantrekkelijk vinden met het gehaald. Dus hij is van harte welkom. Uh. <laughs> Oké, okay, heel erg bedankt. Craig, back to you. Okay. Uh, Trump is your newest impersonation. It's obviously taken over your brain. Yeah, a little like, bit. To a certain degree. Yeah. But you've been doing impersonations of American presidents for quite a while. You mentioned that it used to be... Yeah. George W. Bush. Sure. Uh, Could you yeah. give us a little flavor of how that feels? Uh, he was, you know, uh, George Bush is, you know, Texas kind of guy. And he also was, you know, he wasn't the first mentally ill president, but he maybe was the first president with a little bit of a mental something going on there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he said things. I mean, this is a literal quote of, uh, you know, I don't trust the French because they don't have a word for entrepreneur. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, right? That's okay. the reaction you have as an American. Okay. Yeah. Um, we saw it. Uh, uh, Earlier in the program, just a tidbit of it. My favorite president, Bill Clinton. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And is he still inside your head? I mean, you know, he's still got, he's the explainer in chief, if you believe him or not anymore. You know, Bill Clinton is someone who said, and it was a very wise statement during the uh, campaign. He said, first of all, if you want to win, 
Wisconsin, and Michigan, maybe you should campaign once <laughs> in, in Michigan. In, uh, yeah, Wisconsin or Michigan. But um, no, Bill Clinton uh, said uh, that uh, even on the left wing, in the liberal mm -hmm. Democrats, mm -hmm. Uh, we all, America, we still have one remaining prejudice, uh, which is a, a prejudice against anyone who doesn't agree with us. Uh, and, I mean, and that <laughs> explains a lot of what is going on. Uh, yeah. You know, still a lot of my friends on Facebook tearing their hair out. How did this happen? And, well, you know, if you look a little bit out of your Facebook yeah. algorithm, you'll... You would have noticed that yeah, slightly red sooner. Feed, blue okay, feed. now I think this is like the ultimate for an impersonator. The orange leader. Yeah. The devil wears bronzer. <laughs> the Donald has arrived. Yeah. When you're imitating him, I mean, maybe you can explain to us what, what attention do you pay to which details before you kind of get in. <laughs> God, look at him. Adam, where do you start? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric also pointed out you have to <clears throat> do the tie really low. It's super, yeah, like hanging. Over your gulp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Eric, uh, I'm I don't know what this is. Yeah. New South Wales time. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, thank goodness I've now made my own tutorial video. Uh, and uh, it's my uh, good friend, Pep Rosenfeld. We've been making shows together since 2000 about the elections, you know. And he said, uh, you know what the thing is? His, uh, his, if you look at Donald Trump, his eyes are never fully open and his mouth is never fully closed. <laughs> it's never closed. <laughs> and, uh, and then, you know, the way he speaks, because <clears throat> for a while, Pep was doing the Trump accent and he was like, New York, you know, and you'll see. It's not New York. No, he's, he's so New Yorker, but he, does, he sounds like a California surfer. That's he's like, it, right? we're going to go <clears throat> catch some rays, you know, we're going to go to the beach. We are going to get so many waves, it's going to be tubular. <laughs> It's going to be so gnarly. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, and then it's, it sounds you, completely not like New York. And you've been doing it the whole time, though. It's because it's really a, a hand You can't help but thing. do the hands, yeah, exactly. exactly. And that is what he will say. He will look into the camera and say, my hands, very big hands. I guarantee there's no problem down there. But his hands are telling a different story. He's like, no problem, but he's doing this one or this one. So he's like, I guarantee, no problem down there. But meanwhile, his hands are saying, peeny, peeny, teeny, teeny. Uh, and they just keep going back and forth and that, this and this. Uh, Your hands are way too big. To, I know, it's Trump, difficult for me to Because he has like miniature hands. They're so like <laughs> Did you see he hold up the big? I just signed this with my enormous signature. Anyway. Uh, the miniature tiny, hand. Tiny, tiny. And, and the reason we do that is because we know he hates it. Uh, uh, I mean, it's... <laughs> it pisses him off. It's uh, good to know that, like, yeah. when you're making fun of him, that it actually does affect him. I th yeah, in a way. And I wonder if I'll be allowed back into the country when I'm supposed to perform for the Dutch consulate and for the King's Day. You'll have anyway, to give us an but, update on that. But and, I yeah, he, he starts off so many sentences as well. Word choice, very important. Yeah, pucker up. Um, he, he'll start, you know, and this is how... And it's amazing to watch him because he will start so many sentences and by the end and people say this all the time and they and and the media they hate me for saying this but everybody is wondering how will he end and we don't know how this ends with it and we don't, and that's the thing and that's how he will start every project the wall will get half built and then he'll do something else he'll start a project we are going to have a 20 percent raise on every import and, and then also the people coming in, and, and Miss Universe, by the way. How is he just like throws it all in ratings? there to this yeah, milkshake and doesn't really finish it? No. We have a part of a press conference that he gave. <laughs> Here he's reminiscing about his inauguration. Let's have a look. It was almost raining. The rain should have scared him away, but God looked down and he said, We're not going to let it rain on your speech. In fact, I, when I first started, I said, Oh no. First line, I hit, got hit by a couple of drops. And I said, oh, this is, this is too bad, but we'll go right through it. But the truth is that it stopped immediately. It was amazing. <laughs> it was a wonder. It was a miracle, basically. And you see there, I was there, I was there and I, I said at one point, I waved my hand, and the rain parted for me. And it was like, I am not a religious man, but I do have an enormous Messiah complex. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there I was, and there were so many people, many more than you saw reported in the lying media. And there was not enough food for all the people. I put my hand on the loaves, and there were loaves and fishes for everybody there. And you don't get to see the legions of Egyptians that were chasing me behind me. And then I, as soon as I was done speaking... Greg? I'm really worried about you now. <laughs> and you are losing it. The Egyptians—they were flooded away. Big time.
And they didn't show that. I'm sure you're going to be enjoying the next four years. Thank you so much. Greg Shapiro is iedere vrijdag te zien in Amsterdam met Trump up the volume. Thank you, Greg. Thanks a lot. <laughs>